Hi there, I'm Cyan and welcome to Something Sciency. Last time we were looking at fast movements, so today we're going to be doing the complete opposite and looking at things that move slowly. For me, when I think about things moving slowly, the first thing I think about is sloths. They are the epitome of slowness. With a maximum speed of 6 centimetres per second, these are one of the slowest creatures in the animal kingdom. But why on earth do they move so slowly? Sloths have a very low metabolic rate. This means it takes a very long time for the processes in their body to work. For example, it takes over 50 days for a sloth to digest its food. By comparison, it takes a healthy human two or three days between eating something and pooing it back out again. Sloths are herbivores. They only eat plants and this is difficult to digest and doesn't give a lot of energy. So instead, sloths conserve the little energy they do have by not moving very much or very fast. It may be more energy efficient to be slow, but what about running away from predators? Surely it's better to be fast. In fact, in the sloth's case, it certainly is not better to be fast. The predators of sloths have very good eyesight. They can detect movement and shapes in the trees, so sloths move slowly to avoid detection. They also have uniquely shaped folded hair, which traps algae to give the sloths a green appearance, all the better for blending into the background. Other microbes also grow in the sloths' fur. Some of the fungi that grow there have been shown to prevent the sloth from getting parasitic diseases such as malaria and Chagas disease. The main time sloths are in danger from predators is when they go to the toilet. Instead of just going in the treetops, they take a long time to get all the way to the bottom of the tree, do their business, then climb all the way back up. At the bottom of the tree, they are vulnerable to forest floor predators such as jaguars. But it's very important in sloth society to do this. This is how they communicate to other sloths. In their poo are chemicals that the other sloths can detect that tell them things like if a female sloth is ready to mate. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please be sure to like this video, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments or questions, please write them in the comment box below, and I'll be sure to answer them on the video that I release on the third Thursday of the month. But as always, you've come for the science, now stay for the song. This is a song that goes really slowly. How long will it take? sing this song the slowest creature I've ever seen takes laziness to the extreme but it evolved to be that way slowly passing every day how long will it take for you Spending the day just eating leaves Your fur protects against disease And all because you are so slow On you algae and fungi grow How long will it take for you? nasties you look a treat something tasty for them to eat so you blend into shady trees and sway so gently in the breeze and how long will it take for them to see Several days you'll do a poo to talk to the slots near to you. But on your tree, you must get to the bottom so you don't do it very often. And how long will it take for you to
To bury us, sloths are very cool. They don't follow the quicker, it's better rule. They do things their own way, not so fast. They never fail to flabbergast. And that's how long it will take for me to sing this song. Thanks for watching.